London Tower Bridge. The bridge is 800 feet, 240 meters, in length and consists of two 213 foot, 65 meters, bridge towers connected at the upper level by two horizontal walkways, and a central pair of bascules that can open to allow shipping. Originally hydraulically powered, the operating mechanism was converted to an electro-hydraulic system in 1972. Hi everyone welcome back into my channel if you are new here, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. In today's video we are going to explore and learn the history of the Tower Bridge in London. In the late 19th century, commercial development in the east end of London increased, leading to demand for a new river crossing downstream of London Bridge. A traditional fixed bridge at street level could not be built because it would cut off access by sailing ships to the port facilities in the Pool of London between London Bridge and the Tower of London. A special bridge or subway committee chaired by Sir Albert Joseph Altman was formed in 1877 to find a solution. More than 50 designs were submitted, including one from civil engineer Sir Joseph Bazalgette, which was rejected because of a lack of sufficient headroom. The design was not approved until 1884, when it was decided to build a bascule bridge. A bascule bridge also referred to as a drawbridge or a lifting bridge, is a movable bridge with a counterweight that continuously balances a span, or leaf, throughout its upward swing to provide clearance for boat traffic. It may be single or double leafed. Sir John Wolfe Barry was appointed engineer and Sir Horace Jones the architect, who was also one of the judges. An Act of Parliament authorizing construction was passed in 1885, it specified that the opening span would provide a clear width of 200 feet, 61 meters, and headroom of 135 feet, 41 meters. The design had to be in a Gothic style. The bridge is 800 feet, 240 meters in length with two towers each 213 feet, 65 meters, high, built on piers. The central span of 200 feet, 61 meters, between the towers is split into two equal bascules, or leaves, which can be raised to an angle of 86 degrees to allow river traffic to pass. The bascules, weighing over 1,000 tons each, are counterbalanced to minimize the force required and allow raising in five minutes. Construction was funded by the Bridge House Estates a charitable trust, originating in the late 11th century and formally established by Royal Charter in 1282 by the City of London Corporation. Construction started in 1886, with the foundation stone laid by the Prince of Wales on 21 June and took eight years. Major contractors included Sir John Jackson, Foundations, Armstrong, Mitchell and Company, Hydraulics, William Webster, and Sir William Errol and Company. 432 people worked on the site, E. W. Crutwell was the resident engineer for the construction. Two piers, containing over 70,000 long tons of concrete, were sunk into the riverbed to support the construction. More than 11,000 long tons of steel were used in the framework for the towers and walkways, which were then clad in Cornish granite and Portland stone to protect the underlying steelwork. Tower Bridge was officially opened on June 30, 1894 by the Prince and Princess of Wales. The opening ceremony was attended by the Lord Chamberlain, the Lord Carrington and the Home Secretary, H. H. Asquith. The bridge connected Iron Gate, on the north bank of the river, with Horsley Down Lane, on the south, now known as Tower Bridge Approach and Tower Bridge Road, respectively. 
until the bridge was opened, the tower subway, 0.25 miles, 400 meters, to the west, was the shortest wait to cross the river from Tower Hill to Tooley Street in Southwark. Opened in 1870, Tower Subway was among the world's earliest underground, tube, railways, but it closed after just three months and was reopened as a tolled pedestrian foot tunnel. Once Tower Bridge was open, the majority of foot traffic transferred to using the bridge, as there was no toll to cross. Having lost most of its income, the tunnel was closed in 1898. During the Second World War, Tower Bridge was seen as a major transport link to the Port of London, and consequently was a target for enemy action. In 1940, the high-level span took a direct hit, severing the hydraulic mechanism and taking the bridge out of action. In April 1941, a parachute mine exploded close to the bridge, causing serious damage to the bascule, towers and engine room. In 1942, a third engine was installed in case the existing ones were damaged by enemy action. It was a 150-horsepower horizontal cross-compound engine, built by Vickers Armstrong Ltd. In 1982, the Tower Bridge exhibition opened, housed in the bridge's twin towers, the long-closed high-level walkways and the Victorian engine rooms. The latter still house the original steam engines and some of the original hydraulic machinery. The bridge closed for a month in 2000 to repair the bascules and perform other maintenance. A computer system was installed to control the raising and lowering of the bascules remotely. However, the system proved unreliable, resulting in the bridge being stuck in the open or closed positions on several occasions during 2005 until its sensors were replaced. In April 2008, authorities announced that the bridge would undergo a £4 million refurbishment that would take four years to complete. The work entailed stripping existing paint down to bare metal and repainting in blue and white. The bridge's color scheme dated from 1977, when it was painted red, white and blue for Queen Elizabeth II's Silver Jubilee. Its colors were subsequently restored to blue and white. Each section was enshrouded in scaffolding and plastic sheeting to prevent the old paint falling into the Thames and causing pollution. Starting in mid-2008, contractors worked on a quarter of the bridge at a time to minimize disruption, but some road closures were inevitable. The completed work should stand for 25 years. On July 8, 2012, as part of the London Olympics, the West Walkway was transformed into a 200-foot-long, 61 meters, live music sculpture by the British composer Samuel Bordelais. Thirty classical musicians were arranged along the length of the bridge 138 feet, 42 meters, above the Thames behind the Olympic rings. The sound traveled backwards and forwards along the walkway, echoing the structure of the bridge. River traffic passing beneath the bridge was required to follow a number of rules and signals. Daytime control was provided by red semaphore signals, mounted on small control cabins on either end of both bridge piers. At night, colored lights were used, in either direction, on both piers, two red lights to show that the bridge was closed, and two green to show that it was open. In foggy weather, a gong was sounded as well. vessels passing through the bridge were required to display signals. By day, a black ball at least 2 feet .61 meters, in diameter was mounted high up where it could be seen. Night passage called for two red lights in the same position. Foggy weather required repeated blasts from the ship's steam whistle. 
If a black ball was suspended from the middle of each walkway, or a red light at night, this indicated that the bridge could not be opened. These signals were repeated about 1,000 yards, 910 meters, downstream, at Cherry Garden Pier, where boats needing to pass through the bridge had to hoist their signals slash lights and sound their horn, as appropriate, to alert the bridge master. The original raising mechanism was powered by pressurized water stored in several hydraulic accumulators. The entire hydraulic system along with the gas lighting system was installed by William Sugg and Company Limited. The gas lighting was initially by open flame burners within the lanterns but was soon updated to the later incandescent system. In 1974, the original operating mechanism was largely replaced by a new electro-hydraulic drive system, designed by B.H.A. Cromwell House. The only remaining parts of the old system are the final pinions, which fit into the racks on the bascules and were driven by hydraulic motors and gearing. Oil is now used in place of water as the hydraulic fluid.